Many thanks for joining us again on the newsroom. The Supreme Court has picked Wednesday, February 5th, to hear the application filed by the All Progressives Congress. We see the ruling party seeking, among others, a review of the February 13th judgment of the Apex Court, which disqualified its candidate, David Leon, in the November 16, 2019 governorship election in Bayelsa State. In the application filed on Thursday last week, by a team of lawyers led by senior advocate of Nigeria, Wale Olani Kwekun, the APC at the Supreme Court to set aside some portions of its judgment. This includes where the court wrongfully held that the Federal High Court disqualified its governorship candidate along with its deputy governor candidate, uh, where it held that the joint ticket of its candidate was vitiated by the disqualification of the deputy governorship candidate, Biobara Kuma. DJ Aramayo, and that both candidates were deemed not to be candidates in the election. Meanwhile, the Federal High Court in Abuja has dismissed charges of non-declaration of assets instituted against a former Deputy Senate President, Ike Ikwerimadu, by the defunct Special Presidential Investigation Panel for the Recovery of Public Property. The dissolved panel, then led by Okoi Obono Obla, had in 2018 instituted a case alleging that without reasonable excuse, the serving senator refused and neglected to declare his assets upon being served uh, by the panel's notice to declare. The Office of the Attorney General of the Federation subsequently took over the case upon the presidential directive dissolving the panel in 2019. On Monday, Justice Binta Inyako struck out the case against Ekwari Madu after the prosecution cancel from the AGF office hires Akuta that a former lawyer handling the case for the panel had disappeared with the case file. Still with the judiciary, the Cardinal State High Court has ordered the controller of the Cardinal Correctional Facility to appear before it. The court is hearing the case of the founder of the Islamic movement in Nigeria, Ibrahim El Zaki, his wife Zinat. One of the counselors for El Zaki, Abubakar Marshall, had earlier told the court, presided over by Justice Gideon Kurada, that Zinnett was refused access, refused access to her personal physician, contrary to the order of the court. Against this backdrop, the trial judge ordered that the controller of the correctional center appear before the court to give reasons on why the doctors were allegedly disallowed from attending to Zinnett while in their custody. The Nigerian Airspace Management Agency, NAMA, says it has commissioned its newly installed Category 3 instrument landing system at the Muratala Mohammed International Airport in Lagos. Ola Akinkotu, managing director of NAMA, said the agency had also commissioned a Category 3 ILS at the Nam de Azikiwe International Airport in Abuja. It said calibration of navigational aid in other locations across the country was in process to ensure that all navigational aid in Nigeria that are due for calibration were covered. Electricity distribution companies in the country say they have offered to return their licenses to the federal government on two different occasions. Sunday Oduton, Executive Director of Research and Advocacy, the Association of Nigeria Electricity Distributors, added that this while reacting to a statement credited to Salah Mahmoud, Minister of Power, that this call should either show that they have enough capacity to distribute electricity or step aside for other investors. There have been calls from various quarters for the federal government to review the privatization process that held in 2013, resulting in the unbundling of Nigeria's power sector. Togo's president, Furin Asingwe, has won re election with 72% of the vote, according to preliminary results from the Electoral Commission revealed on Monday. This extends his 15 year rule and a family dynasty that began when his father took part in, in 1967 coup. His closest rival, former Prime Minister Gabriel Messan, Agbayome Kojo, won 18% of the vote, and longtime opposition leader John Perafagre got 4%. The final results are expected to be announced by the Supreme Court in the coming days. Nigeria, Morocco, and Egypt are among six countries to secure Taekwondo Olympic tickets for Tokyo 2020 in the opening day of the ongoing African qualification tournament. The spread of the medals accurately reflects the difficulty and competitiveness 
of the Olympic qualification process as well as spread of five-finder development across the African continent. Morocco and Egypt secured two Olympic tickets each, while the remaining four tickets were won by Nigeria, Ethiopia, Cote d'Ivoire and Gabon. And that's the latest from the newsroom. Many thanks for watching.